Well, I think the topics for this expo really are still around how do you increase the value that you can deliver to your customers? How do you uh, improve your processes to support that customer experience? But also the third part, which is around regulation and how do you manage your governance, risk and compliance effectively across your organization so that you are able to demonstrate that you have control of all of your processes uh, that support that customer journey. Um, it's interesting, I think there's a lot of emphasis this year on artificial intelligence and how those technologies can help support achieve those three main goals. And I think we'll continue to hear a lot more about that as we move into 2020. So I'm here to talk about Appian's low-code platform. Appian has a, a platform that allows customers to build solutions very, very quickly, deploy them into production use, and then evolve and change them as your changing customer uh, and regulatory needs uh, evolve. One of the things about our technology is we're very good at taking data from other systems and using that as part of an end-to-end -end process. And we do that in a way that doesn't force our customers to go into long integration products, projects. So it's another way of being able to demonstrate how customers can quickly evolve and change their technology in order to meet their changing customer and uh, regulatory uh, drivers. So we recently um, launched Institutional Onboarding, which is one of our first industry-focused financial services applications sitting on top of this low-code platform. Um, I think that's generated a lot of interest in the way that we then interact with other parts of the customer journey, how we can integrate with solutions that provide KYC screening, uh, anti-money laundering, uh, credit decisioning, all of those kind of capabilities, if you take them in isolation, to deliver value. But as part of a end-to-end -end onboarding experience, that is when you start to get that real value that Appian can help deliver in managing the experience from the start of that onboarding process right the way through to the customer's gone live. And this is, of course, for uh, customers who might be taking multiple products um, in multiple geographies, where the complexity of those processes multiply exponentially. I think the, the trends will continue around improving the customer experience, managing your regulatory obligations, and optimizing your processes. I think what's different is how customers react to those drivers in, the, in addition to all of the changing competitive, competitive landscape that you're seeing. You're seeing a lot more challenger organizations, you're seeing a lot more technology companies that are focusing on delivering customer services in a much more uh, modern and a much more entrepreneurial way. Organizations that have been in this industry for many years are gonna have to continue to react and change and evolve to meet those uh, changing competitors. That's very difficult when you have a legacy landscape. So you need to really use technology to help you stay abreast of that competition. And uh, I think that is going to be continue to be a theme over in 2020.